All right, ladies and gentlemen, our goal today is that we will all be able to make a graph for an equation when given in point-slope form. First of all, if you haven't watched the video on graphing an equation when given a point on the line and the slope of the line, you might want to watch that first to help prepare you for this lesson. Point-slope form is y minus the y1 coordinate and you can see that y1 coordinate is the uh, second number in your ordered pair and that equals the slope or m times the quantity of x minus the x1 coordinate which is the first number in your ordered pair and when you're given an equation like the one we have here y minus 1 equals negative 2 times the quantity of x minus 4 we're simply going to take these numbers and we're going to plug them in. So where we have y minus 1, that is going to be our y coordinate, or the second number in your ordered pair. And when we have x, or excuse me, when we have uh, that equals the slope times something, or m, we're just plugging that in. And finally, we look at our x1 coordinate, which is four. Now we're back to point slope or point and slope of the line. So when we go about graphing that, we're going to graph our point first and this is our starting point. We go to the right four and we go up one and there's our starting point. Beyond that, we don't even need to worry about this. So as a matter of fact, I'm just going to erase this because now this no longer matters. I'm just going to use my slope. I'm going to write it once again as rise over run. So I write it as 2 over 1 and it's a negative. I like to put the negative sign with my run. So this is my rise over run. So we rise 2 and we run negative 1. Now, anytime your rise is positive, like this 2 up here, that tells us to go up 2. If it were negative, then I would go down 2. <clears throat> so I'm going to go up 2, and then I look at my run. Anytime my run is negative, I go to the left. If it's positive, I would go to the right. So I'm going to go up 2 and to the left 1. <clears throat> and put my next point here. And I'm going to continue this up 2 to the left 1. Then I'm going to go back to my starting point right here. And I'm going to do just the opposite. So this time I'm actually going to put the negative sign on the top number. I didn't change the value. The slope is still negative 2. I just changed where the negative sign was located. So now my rise is actually a negative 2, which means go down 2. And my run is now a positive, so I'm going to go to the right. And you'll notice that point falls right on the line that we have. And I can connect my dots then with a straight line. And add the little arrowheads to the end, and you just graphed off of point slope form. Let's do one more. So here we have y plus 6, and this is a common question. What do we do whenever there's a plus sign there? Well, we're still going to go about the same process, where we just plug our y value in, and on this one, we have to look again, and notice that this is y plus something. So instead of putting a 6 in, we're actually going to do the opposite because it's supposed to be y minus y1 if we look up here in our example y minus y1 so anytime it's a plus you're just gonna do the opposite and we're gonna go ahead and look at our slope and here we can see our slope is a negative one-half so I'm just pulling that down and writing it off to the side and then I'm going to get my x1 coordinate Again, I notice a plus sign, so I'm simply going to do the opposite. Instead of positive 4, my 
x coordinate becomes negative 4. Now I have a starting point and the slope. So I'm ready to graph. My starting point is negative 4, negative 6. So I go to the left 4 and down 6. And now I don't need that information anymore. I'm just going to erase it and focus on the slope. My slope is equal to negative one half. Again, I like to start if it's a negative slope with the negative sign on the run. So I have a one as my rise and I have a negative two as my run. This tells me I'm going to go up one and to the left two. Up one and to the left two. And I'm going to continue this. Up one, left two. Rise one, run two to the left because it's negative. Once I get to where I'm off the graph, then I'm going to come back over here to my starting point, And I'm going to do just the opposite. I'm going to pull that negative sign. And I'm actually going to write it on that top number. So now my rise is a negative value, which tells me to go down one. And since my run is positive, I'm going to go to the right 2. So down 1 to the right 2. Hey, there's my y-intercept. Down 1 to the right 2. Down 1 to the right 2. And then once you're finished with that, you simply connect the points with a straight line and add your arrow heads to the end. And we just graphed from point slope form by putting it into a point and the slope and then graphing the equation. Well, I hope this helped you out with understanding how to graph from point slope form. See ya!